Hi, I'm Aditi and in this video, Jim, a member of the BMC Virtual Chat R&D team, will tell you about the self-service portal of BMC Virtual Chat version 9.1. Hi, I'm Jim Eggles with the BMC Virtual Chat R&D team. We're going to be looking at the features and functions of the self-service portal for Virtual Chat 9.1. We're starting at the login screen, and customers can enter the self-service portal either via a login screen similar to this one, or they can also launch it through one of their existing portals or web pages. For the purpose of this demonstration, we're just logging in via this login screen. Since the application status is currently set for virtual agent and live agent, when we first enter the portal, we're greeted by the live agent. You'll notice we have several icons towards the top of the portal. These include the settings button, which allow us to either log out or select other language to converse in with both a virtual and live agent. We have a row of five icons at the top of the page, the first one being the chat icon, and this is our home page and where we will be conversing with both the virtual agent and the live agent. Next to that, we have the email function, and this allows us to email the chat log up until that point to ourselves or anybody else if we change it, but this address will be auto-populated with the self-service user's email address. We also have an icon up here for open items. This is rather important. It'll show this self-service users any open chats that they might have, and also any open incidents that they currently have. You can see that they have no open chats, but they, he does have many open incidents. And if he wants to go and check a status of one of those incidents from here, he can just click on it, it opens up a very short summary of the status, but most importantly, it gives him a link to be able to chat with a live agent. If the user chooses this link, he will then open up a new chat session. However, it will still maintain the same incident ticket and does not open a new one. We also have the alerts tab on the top, and this will show us any service alerts that we currently have. We also have a quick links icon, and this allows the chat administrator to pre-configure links that the user can click on, which will quickly bring the user to the pre-configured web page. You'll note that the Outlook outage alert banner has been visible to us as we go through these pages. The user can just get rid of this banner by clicking the red X. However, to see the details of the alert, they go to the Alerts tab, and by clicking on it, we can then get the details of this particular alert and any updates that were made to the alert. So to begin a chat, we go back to our chat page, our home page, and we can then ask a question. Now this out of the box, the virtual agent is named Jen, and so we will ask Jen a question. My first question is designed to generate an AML response. Now AML stands for Artificial Intelligence Markup Language. And this is the knowledge repository that Darren mentioned, where customers will often populate with their most frequently asked questions, sort of a top 10 list. Now, out of the box, Virtual Chat has a large repository of conversational type questions. And to see one of these, we can ask something simple like, why is the sky blue? And Jen answers with something I assume is true. More specifically, a customer may program their, their top 10 answers into AML, and it might look something more like this. How do I change my password? And in this case, Jen will come back with something a little more specific. And she asked me which one I want to change. Let's say I want to change my Lotus password. I'll type a one on this one. This is a decision tree type of AML response. And we can go and then reset our password by clicking this link, theoretically. Another type of knowledge repository that the virtual agent can respond with is an RKM document. So in this case, I'm going to have a problem with my printer. And Jen looks through the RKM database and finds several articles that may help me. And if I click one of those articles, it will open into the full RKM document. Now this opens in a separate tab so the user can just close this and go back to the self-service portal. If the user asks a question that the virtual agent does not find an answer for in either AML or RKM, it will do a Google search. So who is the CEO of BMC? 
since it did not find that in any of the knowledge bases, it gives the user an opportunity to just click here and it will open a Google search basically pre-populated with that type of information. And we see that Bob is still a CEO of BMC. At this point, if the user feels that they've received answers to their questions, they can log out of the chat or they can also proceed to chat with a live agent by clicking the chat now button. Thanks.